Oh, this is bad, bad, bad for Asanoyama. He claimed his toe was alright on Sunday, in the interview just after he hurt it. Alas, that was all bravado. He can just about footstamp on it this week, but when it comes to resisting in bouts, it puts him in sheer agony. I'm gutted I got myself injured, he admitted on Thursday 31st. We really haven't much time before competition starts, so somehow I've got to get cracking. The huge support I received on tour, I'll aim to convert into strength. I'll put all pain out of my mind when I fight. Could we now be seeing, day by day, the permanent impact of a lockdown mistake? He told me directly in May last year, I must get Orzeki back. But you wonder if he now can. Several miles away in sunny Saitama was Shishi charging himself to exhaustion after fighting 14 practice bouts. Forced to sit down and catch his breath, he panted to reporters, This is actually quite fun! and continued to make a pun on his ring name. He's been upping his charging practice since making the salaried ranks in a bid to boost his stamina. His first taste of 15 days fighting in Nagoya has boosted belief, said his coach Ikazuchi. And he must have learned a lot facing all those tough men on tour. For a man who dislikes summer heat, Shishi enjoyed his time in Hokkaido immensely, likening the climate there to that of Ukraine. I've covered his tour story in quite some depth. Link above if you're yet to watch. Rib injury victim Dai Esho, meanwhile, resumed practice bouts yesterday and bolstered his numbers today, fighting 13 matches with Dai Amami and unsalaried stablemates. His initial charge lacked zip, though. I'm training with a view to making a fresh start and building things up from scratch, he said after several weeks without proper practice. I'm a bit scared after all this time out, and my movement is just not there, but I simply have to steel myself. I now want to see how I fare against men from other stables. That's a true marker of my condition. His Oitekaze colleague Tobizaru sat out today's practice bouts, but worked on his flexibility outside of the ring. He's aiming to post a first winning score on his third attempt at Komusubi. Just as always, it's a question of how well I can focus and impose my game, he said after the session. I want to excite the fans with the sumo I put on. Over at Tatsunami Stable did Horshoryu return to the ring after missing yesterday's session for a round of physio. His left leg may have been heavily taped, but he still saw off Meisei 8-1. No problem, he said, unruffled as ever. You saw how well I moved today, and how much I'm able to fight. And as for his views on Ozeki pressure, It's only the rank that's changed, he insisted. All will be fine if I keep training as I've done until now. Teruno Fuji might caution him there, writing in his book that he viewed Ozeki exactly that way until he got badly injured. He came to reflect upon, and regret, his business-as-usual approach. The reason for Meisei's defeats, say Sponichi, was his general failure to take the belt before Horshoryu had firmly gripped his. By contrast, against his third division colleagues, as you might expect, he dominated the initial charge and really perfected his low-hitting angles. I think my charge is virtually there, but I'm having difficulty with my second step, he told reporters today. He was thrilled to see the boys from his native Kagoshima, to whom he lent his chest this June, walk away with the team title at Junior High School Nationals this month, and hopes that will spur him on. 
And from September the 1st, his face will be seen on cinema screens in the movie Hello Mother, in which he plays a wrestler who visits the lead character's shop. Quite a few sumo actors there are these days.